fun. Okay. So, it'll be on Red City. Uh, there's actually a map in the map pool which is not on the ladder, it is DF Atlas. I think it's the last map, uh, it's like, uh, it's from the GSL, I think. Mm hmm yes, that's true. <coughs> okay, so, spawning in the upper right corner, in the blue trunks, it is I Quits Razor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and spawning in the upper left corner, it is our own Infinity Gaming EU's Bad Weather. So, PVT? Yeah, on this map. I uh, kinda like this map for Protoss vs. Terran, however, I don't really like big maps with lots of open spaces for medivacs. But, if you attack the Terran right here, there are lots of jokes where you can force field and storm, lots of ramps, jokes and whatnot. I mean, it's just a storm and force field fast, I feel. Uh, also means the Protoss army will be clumped for AMP, so could be going uh, both ways, but... Well, hey. Yeah, I like this map as well. I, I think it's slightly more... Uh, Terran favored, I think. I personally, I feel like because um, Protoss has such a hard third that they can take and that the Terran can easily pressure, and they have a lot of airspace in, uh, in the main. The, the it's really big where the medivacs can land, and there's this small choke in the back, uh, this little hidden hidden corner in the back of your main base where also medivacs can just deposit all their units before they move in. So. I know, map's a bit dangerous for Protoss, really have to keep, uh, be sharp on your uh, drop defenses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. Um, what did... Huh? Did Simon just cancel a pylon? Yeah, I think he's gonna proxy. Yeah, there he goes! That's our Simon! Yes, as we all know. <laughs> all the way, yeah. Crazy we should know right now, we just see only one pylon, double gas. He should yeah. be scouting right he should, now. He should know that a proxy is coming. We'll see how he responds. He might just keep some marines back in the main. Oh, he's rallying them in front, so he's gonna scout with them. I would say, at least. Simon really needs to take that second gas, man. He's just not doing it. Yeah, he doesn't really need it right now you see I mean yes almost 150 gas so whatever is throwing down right now I assume a Stargate but he hasn't got warp gate research yet hmm yeah it will be a Stargate but it will be scouted uh, yeah immediately that's a pain hmm so the marine just working on the pylon right now, and this looks really grim for uh, bad weather. Yeah, it's kind of hard to transition out of these proxy plays because you're so far behind if it gets scouted and gets completely shut down. Yeah, uh, I mean, so. he isn't really... Oh, he's sending a probe uh, so he can uh, get another pylon uh, next to it, but... Like and he has three gates, so he will be uh, seeking to put on pressure on Rezoe's front. So if Rezoe doesn't make any uh, bunkers, he will be in serious trouble, since uh, three stalker, uh, three gate pressure can be quite deadly if uh, if you don't uh, defend it well enough. He has two Raxes though, and already an engineering bay out, getting a turret in his mineral line, so... Like this Oracle, it won't be doing anything, I guess. Except for killing lots of marines. It could be, it could be pretty good for killing marines. Uh, just look, Simon just rebate the pylon, so he, he will probably use the oracle or maybe two oracles even in a heads-up fight at Rezoe's yeah, front. Rezoe is already throwing down a bunker. He has another orbital. He has a back lap on uh, 
his barracks and he's going for another rack so I mean he's doing this pretty well mm -hmm. yeah so gateway research almost going to finish up it will align quite well with um, with the Oracle popping out and I'm, I think Batweather will throw down another pylon, a bit more forward pylon, ah, so okay. pop in closer. Here, this is it. Rosso, we just throw, throw down a missile turret right next to the bunker. Like, you can't do anything against this anymore. I mean, okay, he picks off like one worker and then he kills... Oh, just kills some marines. How? Oh my god, Oracles. that was close! <laughs> Holy hell! Oracles are so strong for us as marines. And he's going to... Simon's going to focus fire the, the bunker now, and Rosori needs to repair, yeah, as if he's coming off the line, but... Simon doesn't have enough to break Rosori's front yet. He really needs maybe a Void Ray even, to really burn down that bunker. <clears throat> yeah, he's building another uh, Oracle, so... Yeah, it'll be pretty hard to uh, break this front. I mean, he isn't really do doing anything behind it. He starts pro production right now. So then, that's that's I would like good. to see. Yeah, but I would like to see him focus down the SCVs instead of just firing on the bunker and taking a lot of damage on these stalkers. Even losing one for well, lost mining time basically. Yeah, and Rosu is saturated anyway, so like. He can afford to have um, these SUVs right Indeed. here. I would have much rather see him pick them off and try to do okay, some damage. Is, uh, has had enough right now. He's stimming in and he's forcing uh, Bad Weather to run away. And Bad Weather just started his um, expand. And this looks really grim for him. Oracle coming now. But it gets picked off immediately. Uh, some stalkers being warped, warped in, but I see he's even repairing each other. Like, against them marines and marauder, stalkers really don't do so well. Okay, I'm not sure what he's doing. I don't know, but... Well, he has, he has enough, so he doesn't really need to control his units even though it would be helpful not to lose too many marines to the stalkers okay the thing is right now army supply is 19 to 2 yeah, and the but... worker supply is 40 to 25 and look at the resources lost tab and you can see the whole story that is told in this game Simon uh, Batweather being very very much behind in every possible way yeah that's true <coughs> Yeah, I'm not sure uh, about the proxy because. Well, yeah, he did. I thought he did see uh, an SCV leave to scout him. So then, I mean, if the opponent does see only one pylon, he's gonna scout immediately for proxy. Yeah, well, but as we both know, Batweather is quite the cheesy player. He likes to do this kind of proxy stuff. Yeah, I know that. But it's going to bite, bite him now since he can't really do anything about this game. As soon as that n n natural nexus falls, or even the one too much unit fall, it and will be uh, open. Nexus is going to fall as well as the army, and it will be GG. Yeah. Pretty soon, yes. Yeah, that's it. You wait. Monix. Okay, so did you all play?